any specific events that you can tell us about that happened here? There were a lot of incidences of kids being beaten, kids being mistreated. Charles, he was beaten and he hung himself in the rafter above his bed. Standing behind us right now are the 14 cottages where all the boys who were here at the reform school were housed. Charles hung himself in one of these cottages. Well, without further ado, let's go into the demon house. If there's something dark in here, something evil. I hear things, I hear noises, I hear voices. Me too. I would love for you to come out. Oh my goodness. We're gonna sit really still for a second. I think you're letting us know that you're here. If you're down here, make a noise. <laughs> Before we continue our investigation, I wanted to take a moment to paint a picture of Charles. While the records of many of his training school peers have vanished or remain under lock and key, the details of Charles' sad life story came to light in the wake of his suicide when his mother, Florence McBride, sued the state of New York for negligence and abuse towards Charles by the employees of the training school. Charles was born out of the relationship his mother entered into after the father of his two older sisters abandoned the family. Charles' own birth father also abandoned the family after enlisting in the Navy, leaving his mother and two sisters to rely on public assistance for survival. The turbulence at home remained persistent and reached an extreme when Charles' mother stabbed and killed a man she was seeing after he became belligerent towards her while drunk. While Charles didn't witness the killing, one of his older sisters did. Now, at the age of just 11, Charles began shoplifting with his older sisters, regularly skipping school, getting into physical altercations with school staff, and running away from home for days at a time. In 1958, he was finally admitted to the Children's Village, a residential children's treatment center in Washington Heights. There, he would steal bottles of pills and manage to escape numerous times, only to be brought back by his own mother. He remained there for three years. March 30th, 1962 is the day he was admitted to this very facility. Later that year, on October 23rd, at just 15 years old, Charles would take his own life. The incident that led up to his death began when he exited the showers in Cottage B1 and exposed himself to the cottage mother that was on duty, who then immediately told her husband of the offense. The cottage father found Charles in the bathroom where he scolded and slapped him, causing Charles to descend into hysterics. Against protocol, the father left Charles alone in order to phone his supervisor. When he returned to the bathroom, Charles was gone. It was only minutes later that the body of Charles McBride was found hanging from the ceiling with a noose made of his own bedsheets. At the close of the ensuing trial, Charles's mother was awarded $15,000 for her son's wrongful death. So standing behind us right now are the 14 cottages where all the boys who were here at the reform school were housed. It is worth noting that earlier Pam told us that this building is one of the buildings where she said there is an especially evil, dark, someone called demonic force that shoves, punches, scratches people. So obviously like these places house a lot of pain. Charles hung himself in one of these cottages. So yeah. it makes sense that there'd be a lot of angry presences here. To get to that cottage where the suicide actually took place, we're now gonna walk through one of these buildings and then that specific cottage is behind me. I'm really excited. I'm I wanna see what happens. Well, without further ado, let's go into the demon house. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys rolling? Yeah. Okay, if there's something dark in here, something evil, violent, I would love for you to come out you can punch me, no. scratch me, hit me. I don't care. If you're someone that attacks people, I don't really have respect for you. So is there something that's big and bad in this building? Something dark? Give us a sign. Uh, huh. I thought I saw a light in that door. Huh. Oh, that's creepy. If you're here, make a noise. It's so Should we walk down the hall though? Sure. 
It's like too quiet in here. I definitely saw something in here. It's weird because there's no window here. Yeah. Poking. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Like, uh, what'd you see? I thought I just saw like a little light right here. Hmm. But there's nothing out there. Maybe it's trying to draw us down here. Bullshit. You want to ask another question? Okay. If you're down here, make a noise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 what the f***? What the f***? What the f***? It's a bat. It's a bat? It's a bat. It's a bat. It's a bat. It's a bat. Yo, what the f***? Where did that come from, dog? <laughs> what the f***? It's a bat. 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 I did prim promise myself I wouldn't touch things, and as soon as I touch something, a bats come flying out of everywhere. <laughs> okay. Well, I think at this point, Whew. this building feels dead, and I, we should move on to the... That's what it should feel, dead, right? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So we're about to go into this house, it's B1, but it's pretty much like the scariest location we've got here. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the building where Charles or Charlie took his own life. Okay. The young boy. Um, remember earlier on we had Killer. Killer. Oh. oh. The man, all these different words that right. led us to believe that there may be an energy here of somebody, maybe Charlie, who wants us to figure out something about their death. Right, and we also have Killer, and we've been yep. hearing that there's like a demonic demonic presence here, yep. that they're angry. So it makes sense that maybe someone didn't kill themselves. I mean, maybe they were murdered. And what's very interesting is that we just found out through some research that his full name was Charles J. McBride. Right. So if you remember, Jimmy. It's some Jenny, it said Je Jimmy. I'm, I'm eager to find out if his name was Charles James McBride, because right. that would be absolute clear communication. That we've been talking to him all yep. night. It's like so many clues that they're dropping and it's all leading us to this, so. At this point, I think we need to set up all the devices and... Yeah. Nothing about me. Yeah, set up all edge. the devices and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Let's booby trap the crap out of this place. Booby trap the crap. Let's, let's go bust some ghosts. I like that. Okay. Time to bust <laughs> some ghosts, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Where okay, would someone good. hang themselves? Maybe we could put some stuff on the, on the entrance here. This is perfect. So, let's do this. Like a... I'm gonna bust out literally everything right now. Do you want me to help? Sure. Okay. Okay. Why don't you put this facing down the hallway? And then flick that switch on when you put it on the ground. Okay. Is that anything? Okay. Wanna put this somewhere? You can choose where. Oh, this door is open to like the act to outside. So I don't know if that's a good place to put it. Hmm. Okay. We can also set out. Oh, oh. Uh huh. Okay, so that's the music box detecting. Whenever you hear that little tune playing, this thing is basically detecting objects in front of it. Okay. So if something is stepping or moving in the hallway, right, right there, there's somebody there. We've had this thing on all night and it hasn't gone off. Yeah, it hasn't gone off at all. So maybe it came into the room with us. I think it did. I think it followed us in here. Oh. Oh. Okay, I saw that. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here as well. Oh. 
Oh, it's red. Something just came in the room. Look at that. It's glowing red. Both sides. Both sides it's going off. And the music box too. That means something's standing right there. That's it's, the first it's picking time it's up happened. something right next to it on both sides as the same time as the music box going off. So those two devices are now corroborating each other. Okay. And it's Look at that. Yeah, they're like I've consecutive. Never seen this. Can you go back down the hallway, please? Or come into this room? Look at wow. That. Both of these have been on all night and they didn't do this. They never did that. It's, it's creepy because they're consecutively going off. And also they're night consistently going off. They're not just like stopping. No, that's, let me tell you, that's really strange that that's happening right now. Has anybody ever like, nope, not gonna do it. Gone towards it then when it's doing that? Do you wanna? Heck no. Okay, who's, who's down here? Charlie? Charles? Oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna... Honestly, dude, there's footsteps. Someone with a camera come over here. I can't see. I hear things, I hear noises, I hear voices. I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> did you not hear that? I did. Somebody come down here. You said Charlie and I swear I heard here. I heard something too. Oh, right there. That's real stupid. Hold on, everyone, one second. Charles, we're gonna sit really still for a second. I think you're letting us know that you're here. Can you make a noise or walk towards us? I told you I heard voices I in there. I swear I could have just. I told you I heard voices in there. Like full on voices. I literally thought I just I saw something in there. And that's, this is where I heard the voices and it almost was like trying to talk to me. What the fuck? Oh, the motion ball over there is going off too. You see that? Yeah. Are you guys getting that over there? Check that shit out, dude. Oh, right when you panned over, it stopped. Maybe there's like multiple things in here. Okay, I think we need to figure out exactly what is in here. So if something's moving, that's even if it's ever so slightly. It's oh weird that... my goodness. Huh. Holy sh Remember when I said I was gonna put this here and the door was straight up open? Yeah. And that's why I didn't want to put it here because of the cold? It's closed now. Like 100% closed and it was open like this much. Oh, what the f You didn't like, do that? No. And I, that's why I just came. I said, let me move it. Maybe it's because of the cold. And now the door shut. And we all went that way. It was open at least this much. Yeah, I was like, that's, yeah, no, that's, I remember seeing it open. Yeah, it was open like that. Did you just come in? Oh, God. Oh, fuck this, dude. Why, what's up there? This is so creepy. Look at this though. Isn't this like the spookiest oh. f scene? It's pretty though. I mean, it's so scary, but also the stars. Dude, all these buildings and this open door, there's just something about that that I don't like. And then, oh look, wait, is that another door? Yeah. This place is like straight out of a horror movie though. I can confidently say that. <laughs> like if you, for people online, you can't really see, but it's like, there's abandoned buildings, just 360. Creepy ass dead trees. They all trees. look like witch houses. Or yeah. I can't, like the Salem witch trials. Exactly. Or like there's a whole, all these different cottages and nothing. It's just creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. kind of freaky. Yeah. Yeah. It, Especially you, knowing the history. And the fact that we're the only people here. Yeah. And, and the, the fact the that no one will hear you scream. That's what I don't like. <laughs> you know, they're like, no one will hear you scream. It's like actually true out here. Well, it's time to do the Estes method. The, okay, what's this? What's this method? Let me grab this out. 
Jesus. This is called the Estes Method. It's named the Estes Method because it was developed at the Stanley Hotel um, in Estes Park, Colorado, the hotel that The Shining is based on. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so this is a spirit box. It scans through radio frequencies rapidly. People use this to communicate with spirits, but when you do the Estes method, you put a blindfold on. I'm gonna put a blindfold and headphones on, so I'm not gonna be able to hear your questions. Okay. And then you're gonna ask questions, and I'm gonna read out what I'm hearing. Okay. So, wow. Hope this, this has proven to be a gold ticket to finding answers for me in the past, so. Wow, okay, so you're gonna put blindfold headphones on. You're not gonna hear me. I'm gonna to talk to the spirits, and they're gonna to talk to you through that. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get this thing going. Are you going to tell us or are you more just going to hear after? Or are you going to speak I'm going to do it live. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. I just smelled sulfur. That's I'm going to start the scan. Not good. Not good. And That's it. Um, is there anybody it here? It prompted me too. Oh, sorry. Five of us. Uh, what are your names? Are you different? Angry? We can't disclose. What do you want? Better weather. Hmm. Okay, me too. Are you angry? Uh, darkness. Secrets. Do you have secrets you wish to share There's with us? There's lots of them. Look at me. Where are you? Where are you? Daniel. Hmm? Did they just say my name? Did you guys say that? If you're here, make a I've noise. I've been following. What do you want from us? To leave. Oh, well, I think that's a good idea. Are you guys prisoners or were you children? I didn't do. Is there an evil presence here? Above the ground. Look behind. This is what I'm saying. Do you want me to look behind? Okay. Do you feel that? I smelled sulfur. Is there an evil presence here? Smoke. Smoke. Did you die in a fire? Was there an explosion? Yep. Oh, that was creepy. I'm upstairs. You're upstairs. Okay. Um. You still want us to leave, or you want us to go upstairs? Leave him with me. Oh, no. I miss, miss them. Do you miss your family? Satan's coming. Well, I think we should leave if Satan's coming. Hello. <laughs> you should not stay here, Satan's coming. Um. Are you guys the hallway? In the hallway, okay. Um, I'm stronger now. Is Satan still coming? <laughs> Little girl's voice. He's here. See, mm -mm. no, because I asked about Satan. Okay. Um, okay. The smell. Uh, Six. Is this a bad place we're in? Run. Did you just say run? Okay, listen. It's not good. Satan's here. coming, run. It's not good here. I just asked her if this is a good place. Just wait. Just wait. I feel like we're getting different voices. I can't wait to show you. 
Yeah, I think the good spirits are telling us to leave and the bad spirits are telling us to stay. Jimmy. Ah, is Jimmy here? Is Jimmy here? Jimmy, if you're here, show us. He's, he's here. Couldn't tell if that was he's here or what, but it's a woman. Jimmy, did you kill yourself or were you murdered? I did not go out. Look at the grass, almost. What's in the grass? Just go. Okay. Some of that was pretty spot on. Holy sh! I kind of forgot we were here for a second. I literally asked, Did "What that do you make want sense? us to do?" Well, some of it was like right. It was kind of hard because there's a delay. But at one point, I was like, "What do you want us to do?" And you were like, "Leave, like right away." Oh, like, really? Leave. Yeah. I heard leave and get out a couple yeah. times. Sound same kind of male voice. Right, and then I was like, "There's two, like, different spirits talking to you, the good ones and bad ones," because they were saying, "I was like, what do you want us to do?" And they're like, "Get out," and then the other one was like, "Just stay, wait." Hmm. And I'm like, "Oh hell no!" Oh, that's and then interesting. Satan's coming, obviously. I, heard I was that. like, "Wait, what did I ask?" I was like, "What's who's he?" Well, as soon as I asked you who's here, you responded like six. Six people. Mm. Oh, really? Something like that. Six. I mean, it's on camera, so I don't remember, but because I was asking a lot of questions. But then the ball was going off a little bit. Nothing else? In the cornet. No, nothing else. You know, what's interesting is that the music box and the... Thing stopped. Thing stopped. Oh, and as you were talking, it got loud upstairs again. Like the noise? Like, it sounded like walking, like footsteps. What the fuck? So. Well, this has certainly been a weird night. Yeah, one for the record books. I mean, that was the craziest thing. That was going nuts. Yeah, and look at it, it's completely silent it's now. It's dead now. Jimmy, if oh. this is you. Oh. Yeah, no, let me hear Jimmy. I heard, yeah, when I heard Jimmy, I was like, Jimmy. Jimmy's but here. It, was there any answer around it that made sense? You said Jimmy's here, and I said, is Jimmy here? And they were like, yes, he's here. I asked, are you okay? Oh, I said, what do you want? And it was like, better weather. As soon as I said what you want, you said better. Agreed. And then I was like, oh, that's what we want to. And I mean, honestly, the door being closed. There's been a lot of weird stuff tonight. Well, I mean, did you not hear Satan tell us to get out? I'm I did. I'm kind of scared. I did, but I didn't realize that you were trying to actually get me to leave. I was like, let's go, <laughs> let's wake up. I'm mad that we're still doing this in the room where they said Satan's coming and they told us to leave. So, but. how was your experience ghost hunting? Um, I mean, I did see something I've never seen before. I saw a bat, I think. We don't know if it was a bat or a demon's creature of some sort, but that was definitely scary. And just the spirit talker was phenomenal. And some of the questions that we asked, it was dead on what they yeah. were saying. I think I'm not gonna sleep well tonight. I'm gonna need some shots. <laughs> <laughs> Forget what happened here right. tonight. Uh, but all in all, I mean, we made it. Well, I think when you look at all the evidence as a whole, when you look at everything that's happened, we definitely contacted a presence. Yeah. And I'm gonna say it was this Jimmy character. Yeah. Whether it's Charlie who's here who took his own life or may have been murdered. I think there's so much mystery here on the property yeah. that a couple hours here isn't gonna bring any real answers. Yeah. Well, he wants to stay here. I want to go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm never coming back. Okay. Well, let's, before we go, as always, let's just say goodbye. Okay. To Jimmy or whoever is in here, any energies, if you can hear us, thank you for talking to us. Please stay here. And it was a pleasure. We hope that you find peace and that you find happiness. Well, All right. I think that's a wrap on yeah. tonight. It's I'm cold. Time to take a hot shower yeah. and it's yeah. time to go before <laughs> time Satan. Time to leave. Yeah. Satan comes. Let's go. Let's go. See you, Satan. <laughs> See you, Satan. <laughs>